Can you guess which three of the six Southern California counties have met or exceeded the previous home price peak for median home price? We're going to let you know in the Southern California Housing Market Report. Hey there, Christian Walsh, real estate agent with Wire Associates. We've been helping the smartest buyers and sellers make the best data-driven decisions in this crazy market. So if you're ready to dive into the single family numbers, median home prices, and Altos research reports for LA Riverside, Orange County, San Diego, San Bernardino, and Ventura counties. Hit that like button and let's get started. Diving into the data that we've pulled from the California Regional MLS and we have the sold properties, we have the properties under contract. So that's buyer demand and we have new listings. So there's our supply and we're comparing year over year. We're looking at marches going all the way back to 2018 in these numbers. And you can see, and you're going to see this across the board for Southern California, when it comes to single family, that we are down in the number of new listings. And let's see what's going on with pending sales. So Orange County, we are up year over year for pending sales. Still nowhere near busier years. But you can see in 2020 and March, when COVID hit, we saw that dramatic drop in pending sales. And we saw the dramatic drop in new listings. So we're below the new listings that we had in 2020 but we are above pending sales that we had in 2020. So the, again, year over year up for pending sales. So demand continues to keep on shucking along, even as interest rates are going up. And we'll see what happens. Uh, the latest inflation numbers just came out and pushed interest rates up again, though not over 7% again. So looking here, we can see that in Orange County, we're down on listings year over year. So that gap between pending sales and new listings is very tight. Wait until you see what we found with median home price and looking at the market action index and the Altos reports for Orange County. Crazy, crazy stuff. Los Angeles, again, same thing. We're up actually slightly year over year for new listings. That's almost a negligible amount when you have that many. And then we're up slightly year over year for pending sales as well. Again, same trend where new listings were lower compared to 2020, but higher when it comes to pending sales. Continuing to move along in Los Angeles. Riverside, up year over year for new listings listings and up for pending sales. So another market where things are continuing to improve. San Berdu, new listings, pending sales up. You're noticing a trend? Well, and then we get to Ventura and poor, poor Ventura marching to its own drummer, like we always say. We can see last year at this time, new listings and pending sales were pretty close together. But then we see a turn where we have more new listings and we see a drop in pending sales there. So the gap between new listings and pending sales. We've seen where Ventura is doing its own thing and it doesn't necessarily translate into changes in other county numbers. But again, wait till we see where things are for median home price and market action index. So while these numbers may not look great, there is some uh, good news in the numbers for Ventura. In San Diego, a busy, busy one that everybody said was going to crash was way overheated. Continues to move along nicely. New listings up, pending sales up slightly. Again, nowhere near the record times. I mean, geez, we're at uh, just a little bit more than half the number of new listings we had in 2018. So if you're out there shopping for a home in 2024, you can dream of what it was like in 2018 with all those choices out there. And actually, interest rates were lower back then, too. I'm running an experiment. I am not going to include the multifamily numbers like I always do for Southern California. Go ahead and complain if you wish I put those numbers in. If it's your first time here, you didn't even know I put these in. So maybe you do want them. So you can go ahead and mention in the comments below. Uh, definitely an interesting trend. And we see this across the board. Oh, darn it. I'm going into it. See, but I'm not. I, I'm going to stop. But you see this big drop in 2023 and the number of properties going under contract. That's because interest rates increased so much and made it tough for properties to pencil. That's all I'm going to share. Let me know in the comments below if you missed the multifamily numbers. You got your seatbelt on? It's time to dive into the median home price and you are going to need it. It is absolutely crazy for the median home price. Right now I have the uh, median home price peaks that we had back in April or May of 2022. Now half of Southern California counties have hit it again or are beating it right now in this month. So can you guess which three they are? Not going to tell you. Well, I guess I will tell you in a minute. You can write it down in the comments below and then edit your answer. I won't know if you do. So looking at month over month, we can see that Orange County has got a huge jump month over month. LA is flat. Riverside is down slightly month over month. 
This is typically the time of year where prices start to go up month over month, getting into the spring season, and we can see Orange County did like gangbusters. Now, how about year over year? Well, OC, 16.2% year over year. That's too much. It's way overheated, continues to remain overheated year over year. Should be like 3 to 5%. LA, 6.8%. Riverside, 7.2% year over year. Let's see what we have comparing peaks. Well, we can see that Orange County has dramatically exceeded its peak, and LA and Riverside have not, have not. They're somewhat close, but they have not exceeded. And we'll have to see what happens based on what we're seeing for the flat and slight dip in the Riverside median home price. Maybe we won't hit those peaks there by the time we get to April or May. If you're digging this data like we do, we should be working together. Make sure you reach out if you're looking to buy or sell real estate in Southern California. And how about the other three counties? Well, if you're a math nerd like me, you've already figured out that two of these are going to be the other half that have met or exceeded the median home price peak that we had back then. So that's where our peaks are right there. We've got four median home price we're up month over month for all three of these counties. And then for year over year, San Purdue, 5% increase. Ventura, 10.1% increase. So despite seeing those numbers where pending sales were down, we're still getting median home price increase in Ventura. And San Diego is up 8.3%. So still hot numbers. San Purdue closer to more realistic annual increase in value. As for exceeding those previous peaks, Ventura is close. It's only off by 5,000. San Berdu is actually tied and San Diego has gone through the roof and is beyond their previous price peak before. So those are three OC, San Diego, San Berdu that are at or above that previous price peak. And these ones look like they're going to continue to go up. So we will have to track and see. And of course, this channel is going to show you what happens next. Taking a quick run through the Altos research data that I love so much. We're looking first nationally. And here's what we're looking at this month. We're looking at the market action index. And it's a measure of the number of properties that are listed and how quickly they're being gobbled up. So the higher this number is, the more properties are being gobbled up. So these are the national numbers. Hey, remember what we saw for the peak for Southern California? It was around April or May of 2022. Yeah, well, that was also the hottest time in the market for a seller. So you can see that the market action index nationally was way up here. Now, what I want to point out is, well, where is the market action index right now? At a national level, it's slightly lower than where we were last year. So again, Higher is better for a seller. Lower is better for a buyer. So last year was actually better for a seller than where it is now. But we can see we go back to 2019, a normal year at this point in time. And it was a worse time for sellers back in a normal market. So zooming on in, taking a look at California statewide, it's about the same as last year. Definitely better for sellers than it was during more normal years. Hey, and uh, one thing to let you know, number one is you can subscribe to the Altos Research Data. These reports will be sent to you every week and you'll be subscribed to my email newsletter. And the other cool thing is I'm going to have Mike Simonson, uh, creator of uh, Altos Research Reports. We're going to be doing a live stream together again soon. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you know when that live stream is. Orange County. So we saw Orange County is on fire from a median home price. Not enough inventory. Now it's not as on fire as it was back here. We we're getting close to 100. One county did hit 100. Do you know which one? You should if you watch these. But we can see that it is much better for sellers year over year and way better. So 60.8 versus a normal market 37. Uh, so that is a big difference. So hot, hot market in Orange County. LA slightly better this year than last year and definitely better than more normal years, but not red hot like it is. So 43-ish versus 49. So definitely a good time to be a seller in LA, but not a crazy red hot market. Riverside slightly better this year than last year and a similar thing to LA where it's a little bit better than normal years and wow, nowhere near. Didn't get even to 90, came, what? No, it came close, but didn't get to 90. San Berdu, slightly better this year than last year and uh, slightly better than a normal year. Ventura, funny Ventura. So definitely better this, this year for sellers than it was last year. I got uh, over 90 and almost hit 100. Oh my gosh, I remember that. 
And then uh, definitely better than more normal times. San Diego's are one that hit 100. It was 100. It was 100% of seller's market back then when we had those uh, price peaks in the median home price. About the same this year as last year when it comes to the seller uh, market out there. And definitely much better than normal year. So see, 45 versus 62. So seller's market in San Diego, not like it was in April 2022, but still crazy hot out there. The next thing you need to know is in this video right here. Thanks for tuning in. This has been Christian Walsh, real estate agent with Wire Associates, and we can't wait to hear from you.